Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? Today, we do have some more bleach. And last time, we did see Puri Puri <laughs> versus um, Mr. Beautiful Face Man. I think his name's like Yamachika. I, I really don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, but yeah, we saw um, Mr. Beautiful Face Man bust out his secret um, ability um so yeah before we do get into it oh wait oh my god i forgot to introduce y'all join with me as always is the one and only aaron yeager distinct butter let's go <laughs> and the leader of the church of the bold bold at dsk how do we do today <laughs> what is, what is that what is that anyway before we do get into it if you guys are new to the channel and you do enjoy make sure you drop a like and subscribe become a part of the rice ball gang today also i did just start a twitch and if we get to 1k followers over there i will go one week without half of my mustache but anyway let's just get right into it so yeah i think that's the end of uh puri puri oh my god he in his Speedo! Yeah, man's got the uh, spiritual pressure sucked out of him. <laughs> oh! So, he can just take his spiritual pressure. Hey! He actually said it's awesome! Well, he didn't say it's beautiful, but he did, he did say it's cool. That was a bald guy. What? Oh, it's not. Yeah, because he would have been like bong guy when he did it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so an attack like his that drains spiritual pressure from a range is looked down upon in Kimpachi's squad. Oh, okay, and that's basically why he only uses it when no one's around or can sense his, his spiritual pressure. Yeah. Yeah, it created the perfect smoke screen for him to use it. Okay, back to Ikaku versus a uh, crimson chin looking ass dude. Oh, excuse me? What the hell is this man? <laughs> his fists or his weapon? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Bro, that what Ikaku I out of nowhere busted out the Bonkai, bro. <laughs> hey, he wants to know the name of the man he's about to kill. Okay, so I guess we're gonna get to see more of the uh, other fights going on. Oh? Oh, yeah, I forgot I he did say that. Is that a 68 on his face? Oh, no, it's, six oh, it's 9 again. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that of a fifth seed? Oh, what the hell? Oh, he, crack, he cracks his own mask. Oh, okay. That's that's an interesting way. Why, why that man look like Canute from freaking Vinland Saga, bro? <laughs> in a way, in a way, that's kind of disrespectful, though. Like, and it's also almost insulting to like other Soul Reapers, like categorizing them, like, "Oh, you're a fifth seat. You are this strong." Yeah. Or, a lieutenant is this strong. Whereas in this, like, I, I don't know how it's been in the past, but we got like these captain or these like lieutenants, like Renji and guys like that. And Ikaku is a third seat that can bonk high. Yeah, and bro, literally Ikaku can become a captain if needed. Like he could, he meets the requirements. So like literally rank doesn't defy like someone's strength. Okay, back to Kira. Oh. 
Bakudo 39? Wait, what the? What the? Yo, whole bird. I mean, it actually kind of looks dope. Oh? Oh! Okay, so some wind. Oh, but Kira's not there. Oh, he literally went in the building. So Kira's kind of playing this smart because, I mean, in close quarters, he can't fly or anything. But yeah, he can probably break the entire building. Yeah. Oh. Well, there goes uh, that plan, and low-key Kira just fucked himself by being in there. What the hell? Whoa, what the? Whoa. I don't think we've seen anything like this before. Whoa, he's... Yo, he got four wings now. Oh, that's right. I just remember what his chic guy was. Oh, yeah, it weighs, like, everything down. I forgot about that. <laughs> I mean, that's his only way of fighting, but... Okay. Damn, so they just depressing. <laughs> yeah, this is a totally different take compared to Kampachi Squad. <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be the one laughing right now, bro. Uh-oh. Yo, I like this guy though. I like his yeah. I like his outlook on the whole situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this dude is more like the shonen protagonist mindset <laughs> compared to Kira's. <laughs> Bro, this man literally just got up from being weighed down twice his weight. Oh? <laughs> well, um, oh. oh. I don't think he's going to get up again from that, bro. I was just about to ask, like, what's the point in having wings in an anime where everyone can fly? <laughs> Oh! 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 Bro, Kira! Kira, let's go! Bro, that is a different side of Kira, bro! I mean... He said, I hope you won't forgive me. Yeah. That's that's interesting. I, I mean, I guess his squad's motto or what they live up or uphold is like um despair. I mean, I guess it's more so from from the way I understood it, it's like battle's supposed it's not supposed to be like this glorious thing. It's supposed to be grim because I guess you're taking a life, I guess. That's kind of how I perceived it. Bro, that was still a different side of Kira, but these fights are actually really cool because we're getting to see like more of the lieutenants and what they can do because after the Soul Society, for the longest time, it was just kind of like it introduced a bunch of the lieutenants and we didn't really get to see like exactly what they could do and like how they could go all out so it's cool that we're we're being able to or we're getting able blah, blah, blah. i can't english it's cool that we're able to see that <laughs> yo he got a rapier oh let's go Ooh. oh damn oh. yo this animation right now is really good oh Come on, canoe ain't shit. Let's go. Oh, whoa! Yo, yo, this animation's clean as fuck. Oh, he going for the legs? Oh, but he dodged. Who, uh, who allowed them to have this much sauce? Yo, they definitely got a budget increase on this shit. God damn. 
Bruh. Dude, the sword play and everything looking clean. Oh. Dude, he is getting cut up. Oh? Is that a, Is that a zero from his... What the hell? Yo, is he bombarding settles? God damn. Dude, this is a different change of pace from last episode, bro. It was a little more like a little depressed a little bit with Kira. Like my squad lives by despair. And then we come in with this shit. Oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was disrespectful, bro. He bonked him. Oh, hey, bro. He hasn't even released this shit guy yet, but bro, he's got to have something up his sleeve, bro. You know, but this guy hasn't released either. <laughs> oh, that's true. God damn. Dude. Oh. I love that they gave them like a consequence free area to fight in. Like, oh yeah, it's a city, but it's fake and there are no people in it. Yeah, yeah, that just basically was an easy way to solve like that there won't be any casualties at all while they're fighting. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like the classic like Man of Steel, Dragon Ball Z, like <laughs> let's go to a wasteland versus Superman. Like I'm gonna throw <laughs> Zod through 17 buildings. <laughs> Oh, so he's saying you're not even lieutenant level. Okay, so now he's coming out with that disrespect. Oh my god, that is... He's so Oh my god, dude. He won't even... He, we I, won't even remember his name. <laughs> Yo, I kind of love it, though. <laughs> Hell nah, Hisagi, Hisagi's gotta have something, bro. What the f Ooh. What the fuck is Ooh. that? Oh, so now he's releasing what he got, he a, got a crab? <laughs> he got a whole ass lobster claw, bro. Oh my god, look at his body, bro. <laughs> look at <laughs> bro, bro, his release just ruined his, his moment, bro. This dude looks so badass. And then he looks like a damn lobster, bro. I was just going to say he was so cool, too. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh? Whoa. I always thought those were like tats. What? Oh. What the hell? Okay, a Baku. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Hey, pinned him up there. Okay, Isagi. A high pressure water stream. I guess that is very fitting for him because he looks like a damn lobster. Bro, I know damn well Isagi's got something, bro. Isagi needs to hit a Shikai. God damn, dude. That's water. Oh. Uh-oh. He's inside a Rasengan. Oh? Yes. It's about time. Thank you. Reap. Oh. oh. Yo. Oh, okay. This side looks so good. Dude. Ooh. Dude, we've never seen his... I don't think we've ever seen his release before, either. I'm not very fond of it, though. So he doesn't like using it. I guess unless he has to. I don't like the shape of it, bro. Oh. 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 Oh no, not his hair, bro! Yo, I fuck with the scythe on the chain, bro. Oh, and it's dual. I can't get over that. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh? Okay! Oh. He finally oh. got a hit! Big bro, I'm just gonna say it. Hisagi's uh, Shikai release has gotta be my favorite, bro. <laughs> 
Dude, he's soggy. Afraid? Huh? To that of a captain. Oh my god, the chains. Oh, and they're not even CGI. Thank god. Is that his claw? Oh my god. Bro. Yo. Ooh. Oh. So those words really resonated with him to like hold on to them even after Tozen ditched them for Aizen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Yo. <laughs> Oh, they really just split that shit in half, bro. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Yo. Oh, oh my god. Yo. Equal to a captain, yeah, bro. He was not on captain level, bro. Bro, when did Bleach get like, like darker like this, bro? Because. Usually when they when they killed someone, it wasn't like this grew or like I guess gruesome or whatever. I, yeah, I think they imply that he like cut like his entire like upper half. Dude, like even even with like when Kira executed uh bird birdman, like holy shit, bro. This oh. whole this whole oh. episode is literally built different. Yo, Oh, but one of the towers fell. Wait, so did the blast hit it or did someone... Oh, Ikaku lost? No he way. No way, bro. There's no way he just lost. Bro, what? His unpacked bro, that... broken. Did that fully even release? Bro, he didn't even release and he beat a Ikaku. But then again, Ikaku didn't bonkai either. That is true, bro. What the fuck? Ikaku was easily the strongest of all the people guarding those towers. He was the only one that reached Bankai. Either A, it could have been like Ikaku didn't want to use the Bankai again. Because okay. he, because originally I don't think he ever wanted to use it. And, oh yeah, he probably didn't because if the rest of them knew that he could do Bankai... He, after this fight, he would have been promoted to to a captain because the Soul Society is in shortage of, of captains as well. But he wants to stay with Kimpachi's squad. So, bro. If this episode taught us anything, it's that we've been sleeping on a legend. Dude, that is facts, bro. Like, my first impressions of Hisagi was like, bro, who the fuck is this dude with 69 tatted on his face? Like, obviously, Bleach was made so long ago that 69 joke probably didn't even exist. But, like, watching it now, like, just seeing that, you're like, bro, what, who is this dude with 69 tatted on his face? But, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Doggy. Oh, hands that down. Animation. He's soggy, bro. He's definitely got to be one of my favorite characters now, bro. And like knowing that the the like 69 is, I guess, like a homage to, okay. Ken, to Kensei, bro. I feel like that just makes that number so much more cooler because like obviously when Kensei first saved him and stuff, he was this little ass kid. And when he saw that, when he saw Kensei and saw the 69, he kind of aspired to be strong like him and he's obviously strong as hell he bodied that dude he's a captain level you're so far off his shit guy release has got to be my favorite hands down bro that shit was so nasty when he split the fucking seto and oh my god dude i'm actually speechless from this fight bro animation clean as fuck he's soggy shit guy saucy is all hell bro but anyway guys this is going to wrap up today's bleach reaction if you guys did enjoy make sure you drop a like and subscribe become a part of the rice ball gang today but anyway i'll see you guys later peace